see children now we are going to learn about human health and diseases of unit 3 chapter 7 in this lesson we are going to discuss about what is meant by health and what is meant by disease how can we prevent the disease and to stay our self healthy ok let us come to the introduction introduction world health organization who defines uh, the health as a state of complete physical mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of diseases so this is the definition given by who the world health organization apart from more than the more and more of definitions we are going to memorize this for our exam point of view actually what is a disease disease is discomfortable or dis ease right dis means opposite of ease easiness so it is not only the the absence of diseases we have to be physically mentally and socially good then only we can be saying ourselves as a healthy person we all know health is wealth right what is meant by health is wealth if we have if we are very healthy then we can work more efficiently to earn money okay so health gives wealth okay health increases longevity of life of a people and reduces infant and adult mortality mortality is death so the life of the people should be prolonged the longevity of people the life of the people should be prolonged and the death should be shortened how can we get this help by personal hygiene what is personal hygiene we are washing our hands wash 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 now because of this corona right so washing hands by keeping taking a bath regularly brushing our teeth we all know this already we have studied right so by maintaining the personal hygiene regular exercise we have to do a regular exercise and balanced diet with required amount of carbohydrates proteins minerals everything vitamins everything should be there that will give us a balanced diet common diseases in human beings so if even though if we maintain the health we will get some diseases what is a disease disease is a disease right this is not a comfortable what makes us uncomfortable diseases can be defined as a disorder or malfunction of mind or body if the mind or body is not functioning properly then it can it is resulted as a disease it involves morphological physiological psychological disturbances morphological disturbances morphological disturbances is nothing but the sometimes we will have a sixth finger or uh, our nose will the bone will be then a bone in the nose will be somewhat twisted or it will be somewhat bent these are all the morphological disease disorders just we know this right physiological physiological we will get fevers cold cough these are all physiological psychological disturbances psychological disturbances with our chemistry exam we had will they conduct the examination or will not they am i right so we got the psychological disturbances now which may be due to environmental factors environmental factors now the environmental factors not only this uh, sunny day it also uh, with the corona pathogens or genetic anomalies or abnormalities pathogens they are our friends they will come into us and it will boost our immunity right so the pathogens or microbes they will enter into our body and it will boost up our immunity to fight against it and to eliminate it so genetic anomalies some down syndrome 
Tatao syndrome, cat cry, cat cry syndrome, everything we will learn in the genetics lesson, okay. Genetics and heredity lesson, we will read that. And lifestyle changes. See, nowadays we are changing our lifestyle. We are not uh, going with our parents or great grandparents or grandparents' lifestyle. They are nowadays the lifestyle is entirely different from them. With that also, we are getting some uncomfortableness. These, uh, so these are all the causes for diseases. Uh, actually, the diseases can be grouped into infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases. Infectious diseases is nothing but if we sit near by them. Example, corona people. If we go and sit near the corona people, then we will also get the COVID-19. Okay. Nowadays, we are experiencing with that, so I am giving the example. Non-infectious disease. In our home, there will be our grandparents. They will be suffering from sugar, BP, right? They will all have that. If we go and sit near them, will it come to us? No, never. So, these are all non-infectious diseases. So, let us have a detailed study of infectious diseases. Infectious diseases are diseases which will be transmitted from one person to the other person. They are also called as communicable diseases. If we go and sit near them, it will get at attracted to our body. The pathogen from their body will, get, will be attracted to our body and we will get the disease. Those diseases are called infectious diseases. Disease causing organisms. They are called as pathogens. The disease causing organisms are called as pathogens. They will be transmitted through air, water, food, physical contact and through vectors. If the, uh, they will be carried through air. Like that of our common cold. Water, cholera, food, dysentery and like that. Physical contact. Even if we touch the person, then it will come to us, STDs. We studied, no. Vectors, vectors like that of hair, house flies, mosquitoes, they will carry the diseases. Diseases causing pathogens may be virus, bacteria, fungi, protozoan parasites and helminth parasites, etc. So, we all studied about the viruses, virus borne disease, bacterial disease, fungal disease, Back, uh, then protozoan diseases in the STDs. Apart from that, there are helminth parasites diseases and then so on. We have so many diseases. Infectious diseases are common and everyone will get that. Everyone suffers from such diseases at some time or the other. Even we will get the flu, typhoid from uh, the neighbors, right? So, most of the bacterial diseases are curable, but viral diseases, they are not. Some infections like AIDS, it will be fatal. Non-infectious diseases. What are non-infectious diseases? Non-infectious diseases are not transmitted from one person to the other person. That, uh, that uh, may be genetic diseases like the toxistic fibrosis, deficiency diseases like that of uh, night blindness, beriberi, scurvy and so on, like that of arthritis, arthritis, heart attack, stroke, these are all degenerative diseases. These will not come from one person to other person. Among non-infectious disease, cancer is the major cause of death. So, let us see the common diseases of human being. What are all the common diseases? We can see this. Bacterial diseases like that of dysentery, plague, diphtheria, cholera, typhoid, and pneumonia. Viral diseases common cold mumps measles virus viral hepatitis 
டெங்கு ஃபீவர் சிக்கன் குனியா சிக்கன் பாக்ஸ் போலியோ மைலட்டஸ் ஃபங்கல் டிசீசஸ் கேண்டியாசிஸ் அத்லட் ஃபுட் புரோட்டோசோவன் டிசீசஸ் மலேரியா அமீபியாசிஸ் ஆஃப்ரிக்கன் ஸ்லீப்பிங் சிக்னஸ் காலா ஆசார் ஹெல்மெந்த் டிசீசஸ் ஆஸ்கேரஸ் அண்ட் ஃபிலேரியாசிஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் ஜஸ்ட் காமன் ஹியூமன் டிசீசஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் ஆஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஓன்லி வி ஆர் சேயிங் ஹியா வி வில் சீ த என்டையர் எக்ஸ்பிளனேஷன் with the upcoming videos